Good morning everybody, I am Dr. Anjali Utwani, Senior Lecturer in the Department of Orthodontics and Dentofacial Orthopedics. The last time we discussed headgear which was a part of orthopedic appliances and today we are going to discuss face mask. Headgears are generally used for the purpose of reinforcement of anchorage or for maxillary distillation. However, when an anterior protractory force is required and a protraction headgear is used which is also known as face mask. A reverse pull headgear basically consists of rigid extra oral framework which takes anchorage from the chin or forehead or both for anterior traction of the maxilla using extra oral elastics which generate la large amounts of force. So the last time I also told you that this is used in class 3 patients where the ma maxilla is retrognathic. Protraction devices can be used to close this excess spaces by moving posterior teeth forward. It is also used to protract the maxilla as earlier explained and to rotate arch segments in cleft, cleft palate patients. What are the sites of anchorage for a face mask? The anchorage is taken from skull, forehead or from the chin or from both. The amount of force to bring uh, about skeletal changes is about 1 pound that is 450 grams per side and the di direction of force uh, is mostly recommend to, recommended to be 15 to 20 degree downward pull to the occlusal plane to produce a pure forward translatory motion of the maxilla. The direction of force can be manipulated according to biomechanics in order to bring about rotation of the maxilla. Duration of force, low forces 250 grams per site take 13 months to produce desired results. However, very high force values like 1600 to 3000 grams reduced treatment time to 4 to uh, 21 days and the frequency of use must be 12 to 14 hours of wear a day. What are the parts of a face mask or a reverse pull headgear? Chin cup that is placed on the chin, a forehead cap that takes anchorage from the skull, intraoral appliance which is placed intraorally, elastics that uh, connect the intraoral and extraoral components and a metal frame to stabilize the appliance. Protraction headgear was first given by uh, Hickam in early 60s. It was used, uh, it uses the chin and top of the head for anchorage. The force distribution was 15% uh, to the head and 85% to the chin. The advantages of the appliance include relatively better aesthetics and comfort than the other uh, face masks. Delair introduced a, a face mask that uses chin and forehead as a support and it appeared like this. Tubinger a model was a modif modified uh, Delair face mask and it adjusted for it had an adjustable forehead cap and crossbar along the rod framework to suit the individual patient. Petite type of headgear was uh, used so that the framework could be a miniature and it would be easy for the patient to carry it. Uh, this is also a modified uh, form of delay face mask. It consists of chin cup and a forehead cap with single rod running in the midline from forehead cap to the chin cup. A crossbar at the level of the mouth is used to engage elastics as you can see this one. Grumman's face mask uses support from the forehead, back of the head and zygomatic region. There are no forces applied on the TMJ and it is easy to adjust and wear during sleep. Biomechanical considerations and clinical considerations of modified protraction headgear. So what happens is that when a, when a force is applied 15 to 20 degrees to the occlusal plane, a pure translatory movement is observed in, with the help of face mask. But it can be modified. The inner bow can be angulated such that we can uh, bring about uncontrolled tipping, controlled tipping, bodily movement and uncontrolled tipping with extrusion of the molar. It can also bring about translation of the buccal segment of lower uh, dentition and tipping and protraction of the buccal segment of the lower dentition. This is how it is inserted if you need a bodily movement to be uh, conducted. Coming to chin cup, 
ऑर्थोपेडिक अप्लायंस दैट कवर्स द चिन एंड इज कनेक्टेड टू द हेड के 